Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm taking this large board that we had and it measures a quarter inch by 28 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And I'm going to pre-drill a hole at each corner at about two inches in on each of the four corners like this and now I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to just lightly sand all the edges this board is pretty finished it's a pretty good quality board and I just go ahead and sand all the edges until I get them all smooth where there's no splinters and now I'll go in with some of the Waverly antique wax and set that aside so it'll dry and now I'll take these two smaller boards and these measure half inch by 11 and a half inches by two and a half inches and so I'll take this these two boards and I'll pre-drill four holes and the holes are placed at one inch four inches seven inches and ten and a half inches and I'll do that to both of these and on the ends I'll inset them a little bit as you can see in these pictures in this video and now I'll go in with some sandpaper and get them both nice and smooth. And once they're nice and smooth, I'm going to go in with the same Waverly Antique Wax and then set, that, set them aside to dry. And now I have these spindles that I picked up from the Restore and I'm going to slightly sand them all like this. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the plaster by Waverly and I'm using my chunky little brush from the Dollar Tree and I'll just dab some and dab it on the towel and just kind of dry brush and if I go a little bit too heavy I go back in with my sandpaper to help lighten it up a little bit but you distress this as you'd like or you don't have to distress it you can paint it whatever color you want but I just chose to lightly sand it and distress it a little bit all over the place. But the possibilities are endless. You can paint these green, red, brown, whatever color you like, and you don't have to distress if you don't want if you don't want to. It's a personal preference. But these are how I wanted them, so this is how I did them. And I'll let those dry a little bit and see how I see where I go in with the sandpaper where I see that it's a little bit too much you could do that and it works just fine so that's all you gotta do <laughs> okay so now I'm going back to my board my board is nice and dry and I'm going to go in with the same Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and with the same little chunky brush I'm going to dab it on my little paper towel here and I'm just going to go for it and do the quick distressing. And so I'll just go for it and I'll speed it up so it won't take too long. But I'll distress the whole board. And I don't do a real thick distressing, just kind of light. And if I do go a little heavy handed, which you see there I did a couple times, a few times, <laughs> I can go over it with a sandpaper and smooth it out no problem you just you do what you like you do you paint this as you like and distress it as you like or don't distress it and now I'll do the same thing to these smaller boards I'll just take the same Waverly paint in the color plaster and my little brush and I'll just distress it some I'll distress it some but then later when I do add the varnish then it'll distress a little bit more because of the paint that was left on the brush. And you'll see here what I'm talking about. So here's the varnish and it's just a matte varnish by Waverly. And I'm going to use that same little brush. And when I use that same little brush, 
it'll distress a lot more. And here it's looking really white. And it's mostly because the varnish does come on kind of opaque or kind of white. And but some of the paint that's on the brush does get pulled off onto the board, which I'm good with it. I didn't mind. And I'll do the same thing with these spindles. I'll go in with the varnish as well. And all this is just to protect it. It's kind of like the Mod Podge, but it's the Waverly and it's it'll protect it. It's like a coating. And so I'll do this to all my pieces and I'll do it to my board as well. But I think because initially I did the small boards and there was paint left, I think that's why that got a little bit more distress than the rest of everything else. But in the end, you'll see the look is still very cute. It's very nice. It's, I, I'm not mad at it. So here, now I'm going to go in with the same varnish on this whole board. And I'll do the whole board. And I probably should have picked up a bigger brush for this part, but I don't know. <laughs> Painting relaxes me, so I didn't mind. But yeah, I just go ahead and do the whole board with this varnish. And now I'm taking these two little handles that I picked up from the Restore. And I'm taking some of this black apple barrel paint and I'm just going to paint them all black. And I'll do this and I'll do actually two good coats of it. And once they're nice and painted, I'm taking my smaller boards and I'm going to go ahead and add my handles onto these little boards. And so I'll just flip them over and put the screws in and <laughs> drop one <laughs> and then just tighten it up. And I'll do this to both of my little my little boards until the handles are, are on there. Now I'm taking my larger board, nice and dry, everything's nice and dry, and I'm going to go ahead and add the two sides, the two handles with the boards onto the sides of, of these boards. And I'm going to use these large screws, and you can use whatever screws you're going to need to use because these screws happen to fit the ends of my spindles. And I already had holes on them. So yeah, the whatever screws you're gonna use, it'll be it'll depend on what you'll need for whatever you're gonna use for the legs. For if you're gonna use a spindle, if you're gonna use another board, if you're gonna use um, you know, whatever you use for the bottom. So here these already had holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and I'll screw it on there and I'll screw it on really tight. And I'll do this to all four of my screws, that way it'll tighten everything up nice and tight together. So here's my board with all my stuff on it and I apologize that it's so close but this thing stands pretty tall on my craft table. So here I cut out this vinyl that says the greatest blessings in life are the people we love and I cut it out in white vinyl so it'll be a good contrast. And so I'll just place it on there with my contact paper and just peel it off. Peel it off real gently. And thank goodness that everything's nice and dry. And I'm just loving this piece, especially for Mother's Day. How wonderful to take her breakfast in bed. <laughs> what do you guys think? Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that craft. It's pretty budget friendly, especially for Mother's Day. 
And speaking of mamas, today I'm part of a Crafty Mamas gift giving ideas for Mother's Day hop. And so a few of us got together. And when you're done watching my video, please hop on over to my description box and hop on over to the next video that's on this on the hop. And just continue that till you reach the whole the whole hop to get to view them all. And so I'm super excited to work with these wonderful ladies. They're all so very talented and I'm excited to see what they all created for Mother's Day gift ideas. Okay, well let's continue on. For DIY number two, I'm going to take one of these foam balls and look at this one. This one's got a hole in it. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking this dowel, this pretty thick dowel from another project. I'm just going to insert this dowel into this foam ball. And we are going to use this to create some topiaries. So I'm going to go in with some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss and paint the whole thing. That way, if anything peeks through, you'll see green and you won't see orange. And once it's all nice and painted, just set it aside so it'll dry. And I'm taking this little flower pot that I had from another project as well. And I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and just give it a little bit of a little bit of a dry brush to make it look like the pot's been around a little while in the garden. Just give it that really cute little detailed look and I'll go around the whole pot and I actually do this to two pots. And now that my foam ball is nice and dry, I'm taking these peonies that I went ahead and cut off their picks and these are from the Dollar Tree and I'll just poke them all in this ball and I'll first I'll try to do a pattern of just going around the the whole perimeter of the outside and then I'll just keep adding and adding until I get it all filled up like this once all my peonies are on then I'm taking this vine from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of uh, wrap it around the top and then the rest of it I'll wrap it around the stem and then wrap it back up so kind of make it look natural like there's a vine that's uh, you know being wrapped around the whole topiary that just gives it another high-end look and so now I'm ready for my pot is nice and dry and so I'll just insert this dowel into the pot and fix the moss so you don't see the styrofoam and look it's done what do you guys think For DIY number three, I'm taking the ceramic little tray that I picked up from my thrift store and it was $2.99 but it was half off so I got it for $1.99. And all I'm going to do, and it's made out of ceramic, so all I'm going to do is take some rubbing alcohol and a nice towel and just clean it all up, get it nice and clean, get all the gummy stuff off. And with my Cricut, I created a vinyl, and this one I did it in the black. And this one says, my greatest blessings, call me mom. And I just thought this was a beautiful quote, beautiful saying for, for mom. And so the projects that I'm creating are things that I would enjoy to receive. So I hope you guys are enjoying these. So I'm just going to simply place these on top. I'll place this on top and give it a good rub and remove the contact paper. This is contact paper from the Dollar Tree actually. And that's it. I do go in with the Mod Podge. I don't show it but I did. And look what do you guys think.
for DIY number four, you actually got a little preview of it on my breakfast in bed tray. It was laying on top of it. And all I did was pick up this little saucer, this little teacup from my thrift store. And they say a dollar each, but they were actually half off. So 50 cents each. And I'm gonna go in with my rummy alcohol just to get it all nice and clean. And this is so simple, guys. This is so simple and so cute. So all I'm going to do is get my teacup, set it down, and go in with some E6000 and also some hot glue. And then just simply take my little saucer and I'll place that upwards like so. But I do end up going upside down that, that way I make sure it's nicely centered but look now I all I have to do is add a little candle and I wanted to add some florals so I picked up these really pretty flowers from Walmart they are so beautiful oh my goodness they're beautiful so I'll just snip off a few of these and I'll just embellish with these and then that's it this is so simple and such a cute little gift for mom beautiful little gift for mom so I'll do three I decided to do three I decided to do a large one medium sized one and a small one and yeah I just bend them and just put them in like so and look so cute what do you guys think For DIY number five, I'm taking this little frame from the Dollar Tree, and it's just a little shadow box, a little clear shadow box. It had said something like out of office, out of the office, but I removed that some time ago, but I never did anything with it. But all I'm going to do is clean it up with some of my rubbing alcohol, and I created a stencil, not a stencil, I created a vinyl <laughs> in the color black, and the vinyl says, Thou shalt not try me. <laughs> mom 24 7 so one of my daughters has something like this uh displayed in her home and i thought it was hilarious actually she has it on the letter board but i thought this was hilarious yeah thou shalt not try me don't try me don't try the mom <laughs> but i thought this was so cute so i just created this little vinyl and i'll include the font in my description box below all the other designs were from the Cricut Design Space. So all I do is just place this on top and press it and peel it off and it's done. And moms can place pictures of their loved ones behind it. So what do you guys think? For DIY number six, I'm taking one of these Crafter Square wood cubes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly plaster paint and I'm going to give it a full coverage on this whole little cube so it looks like this. And now I'll go in with some of the Waverly antique wax and I'll use my chippy brush and just give it a light distressing, just real light. Get as much paint off as you can, or not paint, but wax, and just give it a real light coat. And I'll do this on the whole cube, all the sides, until it looks like this. And look how cute. So once it's dry, I'm going to make another vinyl, and this one just says Mimi Life. And you can do Mom Life, you could do Grandma Life, you could do granny life, nana life, any kind of life. But I chose to do Mimi life because I'm a Mimi. But definitely the most popular is mom life. So I'm just going to place this on my cube. Give it a nice rub. Remove the contact paper. And look how cute. Super cute. Cute gift. 
And so now I'm going to go in with some of these rub-on transfers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one letter of each name of my grandchildren. And you can do this with children, grandchildren, whatever suits your need. And so I'm taking the, uh, the letters that I need. And so I'm just going to simply rub. So you just remove the backing, place a letter on there, rub it with something hard, and then pull the paper, the plastic off. And that's it. It's so simple. And I'm just going to do this with each of the sides, add a letter. I was going to do the name, but because of privacy issues, I decided not to do the names. So I'm just doing the letters and this works for me. I'd be happy with this, but you can definitely do the full names. I think that would be super cute as well. So just, yeah, it's so simple. Just remove the backing, place the plastic with the letter on top of your surface, get the right placement, hold it down, press it with something sharp, something Hard, and then peel off the plastic and then that's it super cute and I think this is looking so cute so adorable but I wanted to add a little bit of color to this a little bit of decoration so I'm adding one of these little hearts from these from this other rub-on transfer pack and it's just a little heart that's on the bottom I think that would be so cute it's a little bit too big for the section that I have available area so I cut off, I end up cutting off the little top of it. And so I'll add the little heart on the bottom and then the, what looks like pearls, I'll, I'll add that to the top. And so look how cute, super cute. Well, these are my contributions to the Mother's Day gift ideas hop. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to go to my description box below and follow the hop of all the wonderful ladies, which I failed to mention that Melissa from Melissa Makes a DIY and I are the ones hosting this. And so we have Ellie from DIY House to Home, Marjorie from Jeter's Blessings, and Sun from Sun's Arts participating. And so until the next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.